The ptarmigans have secured the heartless and we've thrown the wide beards in the brig. There's something wrong with those palm trees. They're hairy all the way down. I'd love to add it to my forest collection, but that cupboard is getting pretty full. About Bloodbeard, what do you know about the treasure of the Seventh Sea? On our final voyage in the frozen north, Bloodbeard was carrying something very precious in cargo. Cheerios? Ooh, I don't know what it was, but he was determined to bring it back home. And then the storm struck. A git massive pile of scrolls. I don't want a preachy scroll. Look at him, giving the sermon on the medium-sized jutting rock. Repent, sinner! Who are you calling a sinner? I'm no more a sinner than you are. We are all wretched sinners. Then I'm probably at the less sinny end of the scale. Godless heathen. What's your game, eh? Calling people sinners, standing on a rock like a numpty. I am a holy man, a preacher. Is that why you're wearing a dressing gown at lunchtime? Mock me all you like. Okay, you're a balding, beaky. Mock me all you like, but you won't be laughing once I'm mayor of Gloomholm. Mayor of Gloomholm? They called the old mayor wise. But he was far too lax. I intend to bring about a new age of holiness and purity. Sounds awful. I'll start by removing those coin-operated machines from pub toilets. They encourage lewd and sinful behaviour. Are you sure that's wise? Absolutely. The gents is no place for a whack-a-mole. Tell me about Gloomholm. The people of Gloomholm are a noble warrior race. I used to be a noble warrior race. Then I took an arrow to the knee. We do not welcome southern devil worshippers. Who are you calling southern? See you in hell. <laughs> yep. It marks the centre of the village. Climb the Gloomholm Monument, or is it an obelisk, or a men here, or some kind of orthostat? Who said my standing stone thesaurus was a waste of money? A serious looking boy. Hello, I'm Nelly. Pleased to meet you, Miss. My name is Anders Mayermaker. Mayermaker? That's an unusual surname. My family selects the mayors of Gloomholm. Wise old Mayor Latterday passed away a while ago. So as the eldest Mayor Maker, it's my duty to read the Book of Omens. A sign will show me who should take the helm of Hood Crucian Smash. Ooh. What's the deal with that helmet? Hood Crucian Smash was a great Gloomholm warrior king. We believe that a warrior's soul resides in his helm after death. Whoever bears the helm carries the soul of Crucian Smash. Right. Any chance he would give that helm to me? No, no, it will belong to the next mayor. So, who's going to be the next mayor? That's the problem. I've been reading the Book of Omens for weeks. I haven't seen any omens, signs, auguries or portents. Not even an auspice. That's tough. Father Rodstaff is always telling me I should make him mayor, but he just wants to boss everyone around. Why don't you make me mayor? Well, I expect you'd be as good a mayor as any, but I haven't seen an omen telling me to make you mayor. Right. Can I have a look at the book? Absolutely not. But there might be some omens you've missed. Ones which say I should be mayor and get the helm. Sorry, no one else is allowed to read it. Bye. Gods keep you. Let's see. That's the helm of Christian Smash. According to legend, it holds the soul of a great warrior. I can't just reach up and take it. 
Anders is looking for an omen to decide who gets it. Can you help? I can't just ask Sebastian to steal it. I'd have 40 angry Vikings after me. Tell me about Gloomholm. It's all right, I suppose. A bit shouty and stompy. A bit... By Thor's hammer, give me a horn of mead. But apart from that, it's okay. Bye. Gods keep you. The pastry seller looks formidable. Hello, I'm Nelly. And I am Hilda. And this is the finest pastry shop in Gloomholm. Are there a lot of pastry shops in Gloomholm? Not anymore. I put them all out of business with my delicious apple pastry. How do you get your hair to do that? Apple sauce. Mmm. Talk later. Goodbye. He's got the reddest nose I've seen outside clown school. It's a big jug with X's on. I feel like a hoedown could break out at any moment. The hunter says it contains mead. Hello. Hello to you. My name's Nelly. I am Eric Redface, the hunter. Hunter, eh? That's right. I'm not a fan of hunting. Always struck me as farming for the underprepared. A hunter is a man of dignity. Hunting is an ancient and universal art. So is farting. What are you drinking? Now the wind is in the east, I drink mead. I will drink spirits when the wind rises in the west, or when I run out of mead. Spirit, you say? Yes. I have a still out in yon pines. I make my way out there whenever I run low on drink. Oh, really? But before you think of stealing my spirit, you'd be wise to remember there's a monster in those woods. The Abominable Snowbird. The Abominable Snowbird? You're just trying to scare me off. I've seen it. Looming figure, gaping maw, blood-curdling cry. Only I know the safe path to the still. Later. Farewell. The dark, dark forest. The sign pointing to the forest has been brutally clawed. I got lost. And scared. It's a nautical supply stall slash boat. It's Bjorn and Olafsson, the Viking vendors of nautical goods. Bjorn! Olafsson! Nelly! Nelly! What are you doing here? Gloomholm is being our home. We are living here as little Bjorns and Olafsons. Before we are moving away to become traders. No one here talks as weird as you. You know, if you're from here. We are talking weirdly. I am thinking you are having yoking on us, Miss Kutelot. Um, yeah, I was having yoking. Cheeky. What are you selling? We are selling a comprehensive range of maritime goods. From anchors, buoys and cannons. To zinc-plated compasses. We still specialize in good old replacement appendages. Hooks, hands, and other helpful gadgets. And now, we are also offering maritime insurance. Allowing your loved ones to relax while you are drowning at sea. Tell me about your range of hooks. We would be loving to. Show me Le Hook Classique. An excellent choice this is being. Where the gouging enemies at sea. Or gouging friends on the beach. It is a traditional design that is never going out of style. Only $49.99. Show me the scuppermatic. With no more than a twist of the wrist. The scuppermatic is penetrating the hull of any vessel. A formidable weapon in battle. 
It's a corkscrew. Uh, yes, it is also being used to screw corks. Two in one. Only seventy-nine ninety-nine. Show me the eye fork. Ah, the long-awaited successor to the eye hook. What is there to say about it? I am having no words. What the product? It's rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. Only ninety-nine ninety-nine. Show me the iron grip. Cast from the hand of Paddy O'Shea. World's burliest navvy three years running. The iron grip will be giving you a manly grasp. An overcompensating power handshake. Only one ninety-nine ninety-nine. Enough about hooks. Tell me about this maritime insurance. Of course. What kind of insurance do you offer? Uh, policies are being perfectly suited to today's seafare. Insuring against shipwreck, drowning, mutiny, keel hauling, tarring, and cannon lash. Sign up today and be receiving any hook from our range. Absolutely free. A free hook, you say? Yeah. Sign me up. Excellent. That will be a monthly fee of two hundred fifty dollars. Oh. Can I pay you at the end of the month? I'm going to be coming into some treasure soon. Honest. Pay later. Yeah, got a little treasure flow problem at the mo. This is being very irregular. Please. Okay, we will be offering you parcel cover until you are paying. You may enjoy trial use of our range of hooks. Excellent. But you will not be covered against any kind of volcano death. Never gonna happen. Sign here. So I get to play with the hooks now? Yeah, just to be asking. Tell me about your range of hooks. We would be loving to. Show me the scuppermatic. With no more than a twist. The scuppermatic would you be loving? Yes. Marvelous. Mmm, the scuppermatic. It's too heavy. Eric would notice me moving it. The dark, dark forest. The sign pointing to the forest has been brutally clawed. I can just make out Eric heading towards his secret still. Time for a spirit. There we go. <laughs> These pipes and gizmos must make the bootleg hooch. There's a little gas burner. This is very dangerous, kids at home. Never leave a naked flame near your illegal moonshine still. Professor Morgan gave me a packed lunch. I think she feels bad for stowing away. Let's see what we've got here. A sandwich, a flask of water, and Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuits. Get in. It's full of water. Tip out the water. Now I'll take a little of the spirit of a huntsman. Uh oh. It's the abominable snowbird! <coughs> Hello! So it does exist! What should I do? I don't know. If only you could change that angry penguin's mood. Pull the thorn out of its foot with your opposable thumbs. Damn these thumbs! 
Wait a minute. The abominable snowbird has a nasty pine needle stuck in its little paw. I mean, its big penguiny foot. Is that why you're so abominable? Let me get that out for you. Whoa, calm down. This is a startled muskrat scent candle. I kept it because the startled muskrat scent is quite soothing. Maybe Year of the Penguin is my star sign, just like Chef Fat. Let's get this lit. So, Fat's star sign was Year of the Penguin. That fella is a very large penguin. This is how astrology works, right? Hey, Abominable! Get a whiff of this. It worked. It seems to have calmed and soothed him. Okay then, keep still. There. Do you feel better? Phew! Alder Dash. Lies! Now, now, please calm down, gentlemen. If Mr. Latterday here... He's not Mr. Latterday. I am. I most definitely am Mr. Latterday. Please continue. Stop! Oh, dear, oh, dear. What a mess. Looks like something's not right in the graveyard. A confident young man dressed in green. He looks stern. An angry looking young man dressed in green. What's going on here? It's nothing, miss. Merely a private dispute between Mr. Latterday and, uh... And a rank imposter. Please, don't raise your voice in front of my father's grave. It's my father's grave, you mountebank fraud. Mr. Hook, do you think we might conclude our business in private? I'll crack your skull first, you charlatan! <laughs> I, I'm afraid the situation is rather delicate. If your name's Hook, how come you don't have hooks for hands? Madam, I see no reason why I should have something merely because it's in my name. Maybe I can help. Well, I am the executor of the late Mayor Latterday's will. My friend Latterday left his entire estate to his son, Gull. Pleased to meet you. No, I'm pleased to meet you. As you observe, both these gentlemen claim to be Gull Latterday. It's at moments like this I miss Mayor Latterday. His wisdom always saw us through hard times. Surely someone knows the real Gull? No. You see, Master Gull left Gloomhome as a boy to pursue his schooling. No one here has seen him for years. You say old Latterday was wise? Very. Can I get a look at his will? Certainly not. I hope you're not going to claim to be Gull Latterday as well. No, 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 no. I just need the will of a wise man. Please, I am very busy. What if I help you sort this mess out? Would you let me have the will then? Well, if you were to assist me, I suppose I could give you a copy in the capacity of junior clerk or some such. Then I'll weasel out the fraud. I'll crack him like a breadstick. You mustn't torture them. Oh, Then I suppose I'll ask around. See if anyone knows anything. Then crack him like a breadstick. Bye. Uh, yes, yes, very good. Hello. I'm Nelly Cutelot. Hello, I'm Gull Latterday. No, you aren't. I'm Gull Latterday, you walrus turd. I apologise for the rudeness of this confused individual. What's up with you and that guy? I'm the victim of a bad practical joke. No, you're the perpetrator of a diabolical imposture. 
that gentleman is pretending to be me, Balderdash. The whole business is rather upsetting. Can I ask you a few questions? What would you like to know? Actually, I don't have any questions yet. I'm going to ask around, gather clues. Wait here. Very good. Hello. I'm Nelly Cutelot. I'm Gull Latterday. And anyone who says otherwise is a scabrous villain. <sighs> What's up with you and that guy? I came back home from my father's funeral, only to find this pustulous newt about to steal my inheritance. Please calm down, sir. Shut up, you bearded gusset rag. You know that you have the exact same beard, right? Yes, but mine's the original. Bye. Whatever. Jeez, historical folk really wanted people to know they were dead. Suppose they thought big tombs would make future generations show them respect. Bunch of bony losers. I'm not a grave robber. The grim little stone reads, Here lies Forbury Delson, writer of Bleak Police Procedurals. R.I.P. Jan Latterday, Mayor of Gloomhome. My father. My father! This one looks like painted plywood. It says, In memory of Ingmar Kia. That one's too old and irrelevant to read. I don't have my grave dancing shoes. Plus, these guys seem all right. Do you know Gull Latterday? I know he's the son of the old mayor, but I was very little when he left Gloomhome. I don't really remember him. Sorry. Bye. God keep you. Can you... Sebastian, why not swoop in and grab that kid's book? Because it's massive and I would die. Oh yes, the death. I see. What do you think of Hilda? I don't know what looks more devastating, her punch or her punch roll. Ooh. I don't want to give them that. Stay away from this guy. I don't want him doing hunting on you. Do you know Gull Latterday? Ah, I heard the old mayor's son was back in town. Does he have any distinguishing characteristics? Yes. He always... Yes. He always wore green. It was his favourite colour. Hmm. I suppose that might be useful. Talk later. Goodbye. What do you know about Gull Latterday? What a lovely boy he was being. Always playing... What was he? Neffmantafel. Gesundheit. Yeah, he was always playing Pef and Tafel with the other boys. Hmm, that might be useful. I'm trying to tell him apart from an imposter. An imposter? But young Gull is being as distinct an individual as Bjorn here. Yeah, as distinct an individual as Olaf's in here. He couldn't possibly be being imposted. See ya. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. What do you remember about the young girl last day? You know, before he left Gloomhome. I remember he was a skinny little weed. Not a good hunter. No beard. Children don't have beards. I did. Later. Farewell. What were you eating just then? Just a piece of Advil pastry. Please don't tell anyone I was neglecting the Book of Omens. Don't worry, I won't. It's just Hilda's Advil pastry is so delicious. Bye. God keep you. What do you make of this lawyer chap? He looks like he needs your help. Do you think this is the real goal? Hmm, it's so hard to know, Slash Care. 
Can I ask you a few questions? What would you like to know? What is your favourite colour? Why, green, of course. I always wear green. What was your favourite childhood game? I used to love playing Nefertafel. What is Nefertafel? Like Cthulhu chess? Basically, yes. Did you have a beard as a child? Now that you mention it, no. I was exceptionally hairless in the chin department. Enough. But don't leave town. I may have more questions later. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't see why I should answer anything. I've done nothing wrong. What is your favourite colour? What kind of question is that? Just answer it, please. It's green. As everyone who's ever seen me or read my articles in Green Things Weekly can tell you. What was your favourite childhood game? It was impersonating other children and ruining their lives. Really? No, of course not. It was Nefertafel, like every other boy within a hundred leagues. Did you have a beard as a child? You are the worst detective in the world. Just answer the question. I did not have a beard as a child. Interesting. No, it isn't. Enough. But don't leave town. I may have more questions later. Why would I leave town? What do you know about Gull Latterday? Everything. In his youth, I was his tutor. So what can you tell me about him? Not a thing. I will not share my wisdom with a godless heathen. I'm not a godless heathen. Ha! Ah, I bet you can't recite one of the sacred scrolls. I know all about the sacred scrolls. Ask me anything. Very well. Recite for me. The Saga of Hrolg the Pious. <clears throat> long, long ago, right, um, Hrolg was there, uh, etc. Poor. See you in hell. <clears throat> yep. These are so addictive. I better just have one. Just one more. Uh, excuse me a moment. They're all gone, somehow. Oh, the packet has the Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit song on it. I love that song. It has the Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit song printed on it. I love that song. It's a brilliant song. I know all the words. A quick tear. There. I'll just add this holy text to the pile. As I said, I know all the sacred scrolls. Test me on that one. If I must, recite for me Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit song. With pleasure. It's Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit. Oh, you should never ever go to sea without it. Hey, it's a tasty, nutty, crunchy snack with a twist. The twist is lots of additives too many to list. So when you burp, 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 burp in at sea, remember burp, 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 brand loyalty. So when you burp, 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 burp in at sea, remember brand loyalty. To Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit Compared to it, the other brands are nothing but dirt Yes, always keep a packet in the hold of your ship And don't forget to stock up when you go on a trip With Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit Yes, Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit Bye, Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit It's Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuit Extraordinary the clarity of your recital brought the scripture to life. It was as if I'd never heard it before. You're a scholar, and I should never have doubted your piety. True dat. So, tell me about Gull Latterday. 
Well, from one scholar to another, young Latterday was not exactly a wicked child, but he had a troublesome streak of independent thought. Dreadful. At a young age, he became a vegetarian. Hmm, that's interesting. I told him a man should eat like the bear, red meat at every hour. But he simply would not heed the words of Andrina, goddess of chest pains. What an idiot. Can I ask you a few questions? What would you like to know? What is your favourite food? Like all true gloomhomers, I enjoy a roast hog baguette. I see. Enough. But don't leave town. I may have more questions later. Can I ask you a few questions? I've done nothing wrong. What is your favourite food? This is absurd. I like crest sandwiches. So what? I see. Have you cracked the case, Mr. Holmes? Back to Baker Street to collect clues? Enough, but don't leave town. Why would I leave town? Ugh, it's ham. I guess Professor Morgan doesn't know I'm a vegan. How goes the investigation? I know who the fake is. You do? Yes, and I can prove it. Just you watch. <clears throat> would any of you gentlemen like this delicious ham sandwich? Well, it's no roast hog baguette, but how could I refuse? Perhaps my doppelganger would like to share it? You eat it. I hope you choke on it, if you insist. Aha! This proves who the real girl Latterday is. Exactly. No true Gloomhomer could turn down such a meaty snack. No true Gloomhomer except the real girl Latterday. But what? The real girl Latterday is a vegetarian. Oh, that's right. I am. You know, I think you're right. He was. This ham-faced charmer is the imposter. No, no, I, I thought it was a lentil cutlet. I, I... Thank you, miss. I'm sorry I was so rude to you before. How can I repay you? You can tell Hooky here to give me a copy of your father's will. What? Why? I need the will of a wise man to fulfil an ancient prophecy. Are you trying to fulfil an ancient prophecy with a weak pun? It would appear so. Now make with the paperwork. If that's what you want, very well. It is most irregular, but in light of your assistance, here. How much are the pastries? Only three dollars. Oh, I was hoping for something in the region of free. I have a business to run here, unless you intend to take up the Hilda Challenge. Hilda Challenge? I am the best arm wrestler in Gloomholm. If you can beat me, then you win a free pastry. But you will not beat me. I will crush you. Hilda, I challenge you to the Hilda Challenge. Are you sure? Bring it on. Ah! Ah! Peanuts! Ah! Close, but no apple pastry. Ah, yes, man, no proper knacks. Sorry, but I have a reputation to consider. Tell me about your range of hooks. He would be laughing too. Show me the iron grip. The iron grip will be giving you a manly grasp. An overcompensating power handshake. Would you be liking a trial? Yes. Marvelous. But first we'll be giving the other one back. Here you go. Hilda, I challenge you to the Hilda challenge. Are you sure? 
Bring it on. Ooh, the iron grip. Definitely. So, any chance of that free apple pastry? Well, you deserve it. You're tougher than any of the beardy posers around here. Ahem. Oh, what a pity this apple pastry is going to waste. Oh! Such a shame to throw away a delicious sugary treat. But I, I guess I'll just toss it in a hedge. No! Oh, Anders, would you like the pastry? Yes, please, very much so. Well, all right, here you go. Anders has let go of the Book of Omens. Let's see here. The soul of Gloomholm's ancient king, winging across the heavens fair, then to earth a plummeting shall light upon the rightful mare. Let's see. Sebastian, according to the Book of Omens, if you drop this on my head, they'll make me mare. Oh, really? Can you do it? <laughs> Can I do it? Stand back. Ba -ba -ba -da. My goodness, the omen! Good work, Sebastian. Miss, you are the new mayor of Gloomholm. Excellent. Who could have guessed that the secret to taking the helmet was just taking the helmet? Fiendishly brilliant. Hello, mayor. Bye. God keep you. What should we do now? Well, you've got the spirit of a huntsman. Yep. And you've got the soul of a warrior. Yes, in this helm. You have the will of a wise man. That's true. So, you've got the soul of a warrior, the will of a wise man, and the spirit of a huntsman. Yeah. Let's check out that old geezer. <laughs> 